Lego set. Yeah. We're building Legos, buddy. We're building Legos, Manny. All right, well, this is perfect. Bag one was stream one. Stream two is bag two. <laughs> Probably take us about an hour for each bag, it's looking like. We're back, yay. When I asked for sons. Okay. When I asked for sons. So bag two has um, Carl in it, and then it looks like we're gonna be building the next, oh, the little front room of the house. And then we're gonna go to level two, the second floor. Okay. I wish this table had the, we might need a new Lego setup when we do Legos next time. All right, I'm gonna do an if question. Here we go. If you could be famous for one thing, what would that be? Oh gee whiz, I wonder what the answer to this would be. I don't really care about fame. I actually, fame gives me anxiety. I just, you know, I stream not to be seen, okay? I, I kind of feel like, in a way, nobody's seeing me right now, but I know that people are, kind of. And then, you know, that does freak me out a little bit, but, you know, we're here. So I guess if I had to pick anything, it would be that. Ha Hello, remoted. Long time no see. I don't like fame. Eh. I don't fucking care. I would, if I ever was, like, you know, famous, I'd want to be known for being a good person. So if I ever was, like, you know, if, you know, like, like streamers, I wouldn't want to be known as, like, a, a annoying streamer, you know. I want to be known as a wholesome little streamer girl. I guess. I wouldn't want to be known for, oh, that girl is so annoying. Because that's how people are with, especially women on Twitch. A lot of guys are like, oh, that, like, about every girl they see on Twitch, they're so annoying. They're just, bleh, bleh, bleh. Wouldn't want to be known for that, but that's kind of, I guess, what you get as a woman. A woman in STEM. I'm going to give Carl the happy face, not the mad kind of sad face. I'm going to over, like, being negative Nancy's these days. We're gonna be positive, positive Pete's. Okay, we need to make his cane. All right, there he is. There he is. Maybe like Danny Thomas for opening St. Jude Hospital. Yeah, something like that. I just want to be a good person. I don't really care about like that. Oh, she's famous. She's at the Met Gala. What is she wearing? I don't fucking care. I... See, I, would... I think streaming's different though. I'm confused. Is this like red or no? I think it's this one. I 
Okay. Yeah, I guess streaming, I don't know. I wouldn't really, I don't fucking care. Okay, let's move on. Um, what fictional place or world would you like to visit? I like that. Um, hmm. fantasy world, a fictional world, probably at fucking Hogwarts, bitch. I feel like we kind of get that with Universal, but you know, it's not the real thing, you know? So, probably Hogwarts, or, you know, anywhere in Star Wars would be kind of cool. Um, I can't find this piece. Oh, I found it. It's right here. Yeah, probably Hogwarts. Elden Ring world. <laughs> Not Elden Ring. Star Wars Galaxy. Where did you see yourself? Oh my god, I hate this question. I hate where do you see yourself in a year, in ten years, in five years? How about you worry about your damn self? Um... I think in 10 years, I will know for sure if I want to get married and have kids. Like, most normal people, I guess. Right now, I still don't really know. Um, I, I'm just kind of living life for myself right now. Um, I would say in 10 years, I would know for sure. Well, 10 years, how old am I going to be? 35? Yeah, I, by 35, I will know for sure if I want kids or not. Or if I even want to get married. I should probably know by then. And if I'm not having kids or getting married... I actually, I don't really want to have... I don't ever really want to get married. But I would, I would have kids while not being married. But I don't think I'm ever going to get married. I just don't believe, I don't believe in that. I don't fucking care. You can be with someone and not be married. Um, I just don't want to be legally binded to someone. But, um, I would have kids. Possibly. I don't, right now, kids are a no. But you never know, I guess, down in 10 years from now. I guess, like, who, no one knows what's gonna happen in 10 years. But, um... I'll probably know by then if I want to have kids. Because for me, I don't want to have kids past, like, 35, probably. Like, into my 40s? No. I'll probably know if I want to have kids by, like, my early 30s. My dad and stepmom have been together for almost 26 years, and they aren't married. Yeah, exactly. Marriage is so stupid. I'll be 38 in 10 years. Oof. <laughs> Hopefully being my own boss and have a little family going. Okay, so Pikachu wants a family. Never get married. <laughs> I'm not saying because I'm actually like a very... Um, I, believe it or not, I talk very negatively about relationships. But I am like... A hopeless romantic, but it doesn't mean I want to be married. You can be romantic with someone and not be married. I don't believe in me. I just don't believe in like the idea of marriage. But I am someone like I could be committed to someone my whole life. I just don't want to be married to him. Leave me alone. Yeah. So. So I guess, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Maybe I am in a more committed relationship, I guess. I don't know. And if I'm not, I don't fucking care. I'm a very secure person, so I don't really care. I'm very secure in myself. It has taken a long time. Of course, I still have insecurities like everybody, but... Overall, I've become very secure in myself and very confident in myself and very emotionally intelligent in general after all this time. So, 
you know. Oh, we can kind of push this to the side. We're building the next part of the house, I think. We're building like the big green front window. I'll put this here so you guys can see it. So it looks like we made some progress. Yeah. I, I will never get married, but I potentially, if I'm, like, really committed to someone, I would have kids with them. As long as, you know, I know if we were to, like, break up, they would, they're an emotional, intelligent person, and I know they have great communication skills, and I know, like, we'd be able to co-parent. I feel like I'm pretty good at reading people, so... So where do I see myself in 10 years if I'm not married and having kids or like committed to someone? Um, traveling the world, baby. I really hope I would have traveled a lot. I want to travel a lot before I potentially would have kids. I don't want kids and I don't want to get married as of now, but like further down the road, you never know. If you had to describe your life as a type of movie, what game would it be? Or what genre? I don't know why I said game. If you had to describe your life as a type of movie, what genre would it be? Ain't no romance. Um. Hmm. I hate romance movies, so not that. Um. Okay, I don't hate romance movies. Uh, they're just so cheesy. I, I'm not saying I hate romance. I do like romance, but romance books. I like romance books more than I like romance movies. I like to read it, but then when you put it on the screen, it's like, ugh. I like picturing it myself as I read it. Um, But if we're talking movies... Um, mm, probably comedy. I'm a funny bitch, you know? <laughs> um, okay, this goes here. I don't know if you could describe your life. My, uh, uh, probably a tragedy. My life is a tragedy. I don't know, that's a stupid one. I guess... I, my life is a comedy sometimes, and sometimes it's a fucking tragedy. Sometimes it's a fucking thriller as I run away from men catcalling me. Like, it really depends on the day. It's depre- Is depression a genre? <laughs> Nothing comes to mind. I know I can't really- That one I'm- My life isn't a movie. I live a pretty basic life, so my life ain't a movie. There ain't nothing special going on here. I, I'm a teacher, so... Actually, being a teacher does kind of make my life a mo movie. You wouldn't believe the shit that I have to put up with. You wouldn't believe it, guys. You really wouldn't. What is something that always cheers you up? Oh, this is kind of cute. Um... My dog always cheers me up. Whenever I come home, I mean, most days I come home and I'm just like fucking like, what the fuck just happened at school today? And I'm always so excited to see Manny. And honestly, I have little puppy cams in his little area that he stays in when I'm at work. And... Um... I'm building this window, by the way. <laughs> you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm holding it in my hand. Um, yeah, my dog cheers me up. Or video games make me happy sometimes. When I want to just chill and relax. This is so cute. I'm going to show you guys this close up. But it's a little Paradise Falls money jar, like from the movie. Um, 
Um, is this the one that goes on it? Look, it okay. I really got to get close for this one. Hang out with my brothers is the best therapeutic thing for me. Oh, shit. You like your siblings? Not me. When I'm with them, I can let my guard down. Oh, that's nice you have that in your siblings. I hate mine. Um, well, I don't hate them. We just don't get along sometimes. Eh. See ya. Eh. I don't know. It's hard to see. <sighs> um, my friends cheer me up. I don't know. My friends, my mom, my dog. Um, okay, but it says always. I was gonna say sometimes my kids at school cheer me up. It depends on the day, though, and the time, so that's not always, but sometimes. Because obviously, I wouldn't be a teacher if I didn't enjoy the presence of kids. So, yeah, that would be kind of weird of me to be a teacher and I, like, don't like kids. I just don't want kids myself. And that's a very responsible decision to make because there's a lot of people that have kids just have kids and I see that every day because I'm a teacher. So I'm very uh, smart. I'm not just going to have them to have them. If I know I can't um, emotionally be there for children, I won't have kids. Alright, number 10. This book is getting hard to hold. I need like a book stand for this. Activity wise, watching your stream and others I tend to watch on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, there's a couple like very, ugh, I can't get comfortable, a very nice positive communities on Twitch that do cheer you up sometimes. Okay, we answered that. Um, where did you grow up? <laughs> um, I grew up in Minnesota. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say about that one. I grew up in Minnesota. It's cold here. Um, yeah, that's it's I am in the state of Minnesota and I still reside in Minnesota. Illinois. Nice. My sister's boyfriend, his family's in Illinois, so my sister goes there pretty often. To go see them. Oh. I don't know what I'm building right now. Oh, I'm building another window. And then I think I'm going to connect them all together. Another window. If you had infinite amounts of money, what would you do with it? Hmm. I would save it. Well, I would travel with it. The thing is, you can't take your money with you when you're dead. So I'm going to travel. I'm going to... it Like, infinite amounts of money. Like, you'd do a lot. You'd, you'd volunteer. You'd donate. You'd I would buy my mom anything she wanted. I would buy myself a house. I don't know. Like, that question, like... That is kind of a dumb question. Like, infinite? You could do anything. What do you mean? But if they gave me a set amount, like a million dollars, I could give you more of a narrowed down answer because I know what a million dollars is worth. Infinite? I would I would buy a private jet. Like, what do you mean? All right. There's one of the windows. I'm working on the next one. 
That one's kind of stupid. Um, okay, this one. What are you? Oh, this is a good one. What are you grateful for today? I would wipe my ass with it. Duh. Oh God. By the world. <laughs> You would be the world leader. No, honestly, that would be a good one. I would become the world leader and I would make things actually decent for people. Because ain't no one should be living the way we do. Thanks for hanging out today, guys. This is very cozy. Sometimes I don't like playing games. Sometimes I just want to talk and vibe. Okay, what am I grateful for today? Um, I'm grateful to have some time to myself. I am. I'm very grateful to have a day to myself. Even though I wish I would have had two days to myself and didn't have to go anywhere yesterday, I'm grateful to have this day to myself. Because some people work every single day. I'm glad that I get weekends off. So, that is what I'm grateful for today. And I went grocery shopping this morning. Prices are like so bad with food and I'm grateful that I can afford to feed myself because I don't know how people are feeding their families or f just feeding themselves, but I'm grateful to be able to buy myself food. Grateful I don't have to work. That is a good one. Me too. If you don't have to sleep, how would you use the extra hours in the day? Um... If I didn't have to, but I love sleeping. I would want to sleep anyways. I love sleeping. I would choose to sleep. I love laying around doing nothing. I guess I would relax in bed. I would still sleep. I would just relax in bed. I would have more time to relax. Watch some TV in bed. <laughs> That's a dumb question. I would still be in my bed, okay? Oh, what food combination do you like best? Hmm. Like, is this talking about, like, weird food combinations? Or, like, like in general, like, what's one that you like together? Um. Chicken and rice is my go-to. I eat a lot of chicken and rice. But, um. McDonald's chicken nuggets with McDonald's sweet and sour sauce. That's one that comes to mind. <gasps> Fuck, I fucked up their wedding portrait. Oh god, it's crooked. It is a crooked wedding portrait. As the years go by, our friendship will never die. I've never had that Pikachu. I don't even know how to pronounce. I had tostadas, but I don't know how to pronounce the first one. Posole? Po Pasole? I don't know what that is. What is it? Mm. <sighs> okay. The windows are connected. -ed. How many soup? Oh. Oh, so it's like a soup with tostadas. Okay, that would be good. I would try that. I'm not a picky eater. And I love like different cultural food. 
because I'm a white girl, so like I got hamburgers and the white people food, but I do like cultural food. I eat a lot of a lot of sushi, Chinese food, because there's a lot of that in my area. Like I said, there's a big Asian population where I teach. Oh, if you had to sing karaoke right now, which song would it be? I've been vibing to Taylor Swift. I've been really vibing to, um, her song London Boy and, um, I've been really vibing with that one. I don't know why. I just have been. London boy, is it over now? Probably some Taylor Swift. I just she's my she's my tried and true. I've been listening to Foolish One a lot. I don't know. Taylor Swift. She's my tried and true. What was the first thing that you thought about when you woke up today? Well, I had my alarm set to go to the grocery store. So I suppose the first thing I thought of when I woke up today was going to get my groceries and taking out the trash. And also, holy shit, I have a lot of work to do. Should I even stream? I have I had nothing planned for this week. I didn't have any time to make any lesson plans yesterday. And, you know, one day of planning takes me a full, like, two hours. So I probably have, like, ten hours of work. But then I decided to stream. So. But, you know. I might have to just do some middle-of-the-week planning. All the homework I gotta do... That was usually the case when I was in school. I was always thinking about that. Okay. If you could know the absolute truthful answer to one question. Oh, this one is deep and I feel like I could come up with a really good answer. I just can't think right now. I was thinking of my mom, Rip Mama. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Pikachu. That has actually been one of my biggest fears is losing my mom because as you guys know, I'm not close with my dad. So if I lost her, I would feel like I have no parents. And you know, I'm my, my brother and sister, they have like fiancés, boyfriends, girlfriends. I feel like I'd be alone because I really like rely on my mom a lot. So that would be a really hard for me. My mom is a, a motorcyclist, so I do kind of get scared sometimes for her. But I'm glad that she's living her life, you know. It's kind of weird because my mom had this... I actually just had that conversation with my mom. She was, like, crying, and she's like, Audrey, I would never want to pass away prematurely because I wouldn't want to leave you. And she actually said, I don't care about the other two. I care about you because I know you would be the one that would take it the hardest. She's like, I don't worry about your brother and sister. Because <laughs> I, I am a very, like, emotionally intelligent. And I'm just very in tune with my emotions. She knows that I would be very emotional about it. I'm an emotional person. I don't let it show a lot. Like, especially on stream. You guys don't see that side of me, but... I'm a very emotional girl. And that's okay. Emotions are good. What a boring life we would have if we didn't feel something, you know? I like feeling every emotion, even if it's not so great of one. It's important to feel your emotions.
God, these windows are taking so long. Ooh, a little piece of mail. nine sticker time all right if you could oh I forgot we had a question um if you could know the absolute truthful answer to one question what would you ask the truth there's so many questions I would ask the fucking government because I don't trust none of them not one of those bastards um <gasps> Guys, it's happening. Okay, we got the three little front windows done. I can't think of any. I would ask my government something. to ask my dad a lot of questions okay my dad's a pathological liar a narcissist and bipolar so I would ask him a lot of questions because I if I asked him questions now he would never give me the truth so I would ask my dad a lot of questions guys 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 Are aliens real? <laughs> Honestly, Ian, you're onto something. I actually, I do want to know the answer. I really do. All right, we're starting the upstairs. Yay! Okay, push this to the side. We're starting the upstairs. We'll go on the Lego website after this and pick our next Lego set. What do they got in Area 51? Yeah, what the fuck are they hiding? If you had three wishes, how would you use them? And let's set a rule. We can't ask for three more wishes. Um... um I would just ask, mine are probably very cheesy and generic. I would ask for people to love each other and stop being mean to each other. It hurts me, my heart. It really does. I hate looking at the news. I hate that because I'm like a very, I'm an empath. I feel emotions very deeply and I, I just feel the emotions of others so deeply. More than most people, I would say. Well, more than most of the people around me. I grew up in... A household where people did not feel my emotions and kind of told me to suck it up. So I just want people to not be horrible people. That'd be one of my wishes. It's just depressing shit. It is. Especially when you live in America. We just... I feel like sometimes we don't always get accurate news over here either. What? All right, we have a top floor, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're going to build on it. Look at it. It's really coming together. Look at that. Peace, end world hunger, and live to the fullest. Honestly, mine would be very similar. I just... I'm not a materialistic person. I just want people to be okay. But three wishes. Travel the world and help people. Have people be nice to each other. 
and have every child just because I'm a teacher because I see so much hurt with children I just wish every child had a safe home and had parents that cared that would be my wishes guys is that so much to ask for? <laughs> <laughs> that's so much to ask for and I'd wish for a new dog and a new PC if we really are getting into some material things I was talking to my mom about this yesterday I never buy myself anything so my backpack broke and this like made me realize like Audrey you have you have a big girl job now you could be buying yourself some nicer things and like some new things, but I wait till something falls apart till I buy a new one. So my backpack like completely ripped and fell on the ground. It, I've had it for a long time. So I finally, I went and bought a North Face backpack for like a, over $100 yesterday. And I was feeling so guilty about it, even though I had the money and the savings. I'm like, Audrey, stop beating yourself up about it. And this backpack is going to last you the next five years because you will use it till it's worn out. And honestly, um, that's why I haven't gotten a new PC. Because I'm like, well, it still works. It doesn't work well, but it works. So why do I need a new one? I have this, like, internal struggle. But the puppy thing, there's no excuse. I can get a new puppy. I love that you guys can see him. New drippy backpack. I'll show you guys. It is really nice. It's all black. It has rose gold embroidery and zippers. I do love it. It's perfect. I'm going to use it for traveling and all that. I've had the same bag for four years. No, I had this last backpack for five and it actually ripped off of my back and fell on the ground. Um, vehicle wise, I will drive a car till it's fucking dead. Like, I could buy myself a new car if I wanted to right now, but I'm not gonna. Because my car still works. And also, water bottle. All my other water bottles are banged up and, you know, probably they're a little rusty and, like, moldy. <laughs> and I finally bought myself a water bottle. And I'm, I like felt guilty. I'm like, why did I just spend $32? I have water bottles. But now I'm really happy I bought one. But I'm glad that I'm good with my money. That's why I have money in my savings because I'm, I'm pretty smart with money, so. Okay. What is the quiz or trivia topic that you know most about? Um, I don't know. I feel like I suck at trivia in general. You know? Anyways, Pokemon and Elden Ring. <laughs> you said that so confidently. Um, okay. Guys, we're almost done with bag two. We only have a few Legos left. I'm loving this. This one will fit probably on my ledge up here. And that makes me so happy because I'll be able to see the front of it from my living room. And then the back side, I'll be able to see it all the time from the den on the other side when I'm in there. Well, this is so exciting. I 
I don't know. I I'm a Star Wars nerd. I know my shit. All right, guys. I did was working on the Discord server a little bit yesterday. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not good with Discord. I about know how to call my friends, play games with them. But when it comes to community servers, I'm like, what the fuck? So I've been like kind of just like working and asking my friend because I have a friend that's really good with Discord. So I'm working on it, guys. And I want, I'm going to see if my computer will run Pal World and do a test stream. I really want to start playing it. I feel like I'm going to get addicted to it. And I want to have a server, a stream server. I hope my PC can run it. I might have to run it on the lowest settings, but I already run most of my games on the lowest settings because I don't really care. It's getting to that point where I have to sneak things in little crevices, and then as I'm sneaking in a crevice, I just ruin something else. Did I ruin something in here? <laughs> I do have the perfect fingies. I have small hands, so. You know what they say about small hands? Small feet. You know what they say about small feet? Small legs. If you could bring back a fashion trend, which one would it be? Ooh. I feel like I, in general, um, wear a lot of things that people probably would think are dumb. But I'm kind of stuck in some fashion trends. Let's see. Socks and slides. I love wearing my long Nike socks with my pants tucked into them with some slides. I really do. Um... I'm kind of, you guys have probably noticed, I'm more of like a grunge style. I like grunge wear, I guess you could say. Is that how you would say it? Um, yeah, I like comfy grunge wear, but also like things that are statement pieces, you know? I like to buy quality clothing. So, I buy myself a couple nice things for my wardrobe every month or so. I like to go, you know, like, I'm like, okay, this month I'm going to go buy myself some new socks and a new pair of shoes. I kind of fit that into my budget. Come on, this fucking chair. Wait, how does that... <laughs> All right, we finished bag two. Here's my little pieces left over. Where's my bag? All right, we're going on to bag three. I wear Hot Topic and shorts all year long. Got them anime shirts. Jeans, a hoodie, and a pair of Converse. Yeah, you're kind of a hoodie guy, aren't you, Ian? I've noticed. But you got them nice. See, you buy them nice quality hoodies, the Nike ones, and they last you forever, and they match everything, you know? All right, guys, bag two is done. We started the second floor. Yeah, I don't know what other fashion trend. Maybe more chokers. I love wearing chokers. Okay, bag three. What was the last song you listened to? I can go check. I'm pretty sure the last song I listened to was My Tears Ricochet by Taylor Swift. I'm pretty sure, yeah. My Tears Ricochet by Taylor Swift. I was uh, using my Taylor Swift playlist when I was driving in the car to get my groceries. Well, actually, technically, the last song I listened to was Let It Go Disney Lo-Fi. <laughs> but, you know. 
All right, bag three. We got two more bags, and this bag isn't that complicated. So, we're almost done. Hi, buddy. Mommy got a new Lego set. Mommy got Legos. King, nothing Metallica. You're really into that. Is that that's rock, right? Nirvana. You like Nirvana, Metallica. Perfect daughter. But, uh, The one thing I liked about the guy I dated last was he loved Taylor Swift and he jammed out to it with me. I do miss that. Don't find many men like that. Yeah, the grunge and rock music. He was a Swifty. He really was. He always was willing to listen to my music and stuff, you know. If you could have an endless supply of food, which food would it be? <sighs> Lately, I've been loving bagels, but I don't know if that is going to last. That's kind of like what I like right now. <sighs> so I guess... Um, pizza. Tacos. Okay, where's my book? We get to make Doug the dog. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to fit this one. This one's not very thick. I think this one's going to fit on my ledge up here. Fuck. Um, okay. All right, I'm building on the second floor right here. You won't be able to see, but I'll give you updates. Doug, the gang's all here. Pizza or chicken nuggets or french fries. What is something that you would like to be better at? Hmm. Socializing. <laughs> I'm a little awkward, but it's okay. I don't mind being an awkward person. Um, socializing. He's a goodest boy. Um. Better at being a better gamer. I don't know. There's not a lot of things I really care to be better at. I'm pretty content with how I, I live my life and do do what I do. But I'm always I'm always willing to learn new things, but I don't necessarily need to be the best at it. Oh, managing my money. Hmm. Like do you have like a spending issue or like learning how to budget? There's really good books about that. And no, I'm not talking, no, what's his toes? He's very popular for writing budget books. Not him, but there's actual, like, people that have really lived and experienced it type books. That could really tell you. And they're not just trying to make money off of you buying their book and wasting your money. <laughs> okay. Spending, mm. I used to have a spending issue too. I think it really took, do you, Pikachu, do you live on your own? Do you have roommates? You don't have to tell me, but it took me like mm, living on my own. So. Yeah. I 
every home needs a good foundation. I live on my own. Okay. What tempts you to spend? What do you spend the most of your money on? Like, besides, like, bills and food. Like, out of your, like, your spending money. What are you buying the most of? Like, your fun money. I'm not an expert. I'm only good at managing my own money. I can not give much advice to other people, but... I don't like roommates. <laughs> Me either. That's why, even if I was with a guy and had kids with him, I feel like we'd have our own places. And sometimes he could come spend the night at my place, and I go, I like having my own house, unless he's really clean. And that is another thing I really liked about the last guy I dated. He was very clean. Very good with hygiene. We love that. But there's always good and bad things about people. Like... I don't resent him at all, you know? Because there was a very good traits about him. And then there's some traits that I didn't like. And overall, those ones were the turning points. You know? I'll buy nicer clothes and buying things I don't really need. Mm. I, so for me personally, I think clothes are okay. But the things you don't really need, you got to try to cut those out. Clothes to me is important. It's important to clothe yourself. And spending money on clothes that you enjoy does build confidence in yourself. And I think that's very important to be confident in what you're wearing. If you could only listen to one musical act for the rest of your life, what would it be? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift has songs for every mood. And yes, men, you can listen to Taylor Swift. Her songs aren't about breakups. Actually, the majority of her songs are poetry. You little bitches. Okay. Ooh, we're building a Paradise Falls book. I bought two speakers in one month. One for my living room and one for my gaming setup. See, you could have spaced that out more. And also, I have a credit card, okay? I'm not telling you to go take out a bunch of credit cards. That's bad. But it is good to build your credit and to have one good credit card. Don't get an American Express. Those ones are bad. But I have a Capital One. And... Uh, Capital One, there's Discovery would be okay. Just don't do American Express, but I'm assuming you have credit card by now. You're 20, 26, no, 28. Um, for me, what I do is I give myself a couple hundred on my credit card, and then by the end of the month, I have to pay it off. Like, this is your couple hundred fun money, and then it has to be paid off. And if it's not paid off, I don't get my fun money the next month. And I hold my, I, you just have to, there's no, you have to have self-control. There's not much, like, advice you could get from people. I could tell you this till the cows come home, you know. But you gotta have self-control and discipline. And that has to be a lot on your end. It uh, can't always be taught. You have to want it. So... We're going to finish these questions. Okay. Gonna dream. Gonna dream. What is the last thing that you did for the first time? What? Oh, God. The last thing I did for the first time? Hmm. Hmm. Um. See, I'm not, I don't have a lot of firsts because I do the same thing every day. There's a lot of things that I do want to try. 
Probably cooking something. What have I cooked recently? There's a couple things I cooked for the first time. And I just, I have the memory of a walnut. Yeah, probably cooking something, but I can't remember what I cooked lately. I really don't. It's bad. If you could time travel, which year would you visit? We've already talked about this, but now we're talking specific year. I wouldn't really want to go back. I like where I'm at. Right now I'm at my most healed version of myself. I don't want to go back. I guess I would go back to a year before my time. Maybe I go to the year my mom graduated high school and go watch her graduate. I'm just interested to see what she was like. Well, I, I've i heard from people that my mom was much better mentally before my dad. So I want to I see her before she had met him. I'm trying a chorizo burger. What is your dream job? Oh, God. I'm already in my dream job. I'm living the dream. I think there is no dream job, guys. There is no dream job. It's all lies. Um, you have to just find the joyful parts in your job and the not so joyful parts you have to learn to desensitize from it and let go i've started to let go of a lot of things at my job i don't have a dream job my dream job since i was a kid was being a teacher so now that i'm there i'm like hmm this wasn't my dream you know and ian that is really good ian that you know what you want to do that's really exciting and I'm glad that you're following your dream. It's very important to be. To do that. And not let others tell you what they think, you know? I don't understand how this goes on. Go like this. I think I did that correctly. Um, my dream job. I guess I'm... I don't have a dream job. I personally don't want to do any of them. <laughs> dream job. Marrying rich. And staying at home is the dream. I don't want to work anymore. But I do, so don't call me lazy. I already do work. Thank you very much. If you could instantly acquire one skill, what would it be? Cooking. Maybe OnlyFans. <laughs> for me or for you? Honestly, that might be the that might be the the ticket, guys. You don't even have to do what you th are thinking to be on OnlyFans. There are some people that just be talking. They're not like I mean, you know, they might be wearing something risque, but like you don't have to do what you're thinking on OnlyFans. You could do it a little bit more you know, reserved. And people still watch it. Alright, Pikachu, boot it up. <laughs> boot up the OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm just not interested in that. I have a Twitch channel, you know? This is about as 
you know, exposed as we're going to get, you know. But for OnlyFans, you don't really have to be as exposed as you think. There's people that just like listening to you. Um, okay. What is this? What am I building right now? I can't even tell. It's going to be a, a surprise. <sighs> yeah, cooking. Then I wouldn't have to sit and try to learn how to do it. What is your main hobby? So we've talked about this before. Um, I didn't used to have hobbies for myself. And a therapist once told me I needed to do a hobby. So I started streaming, actually, because of that. I'm like, what can I do that's in my room? I don't have to go socialize. And I can just, like, practice talking out loud, though. So I can get better at socializing. And this is what I decided. But I also like to read. I love doing stuff outside. I'm an outside girly. As long as it doesn't require talking to people, then we're good. Oh, this is his bed. It's his bed. All right. Um, if you could speak a new language, what would it be? I have a kid in my class. He's like a genius and he's learning Mandarin and Russian and French. What else is he learning? He's like very gifted and he just goes on Duolingo and teaches it to himself. And he's six years old. So if that does make you feel bad about yourself. Um, I took eight years of Spanish. I didn't retain much of it. I can do very, very basic conversation. Um, so maybe brush up on Spanish a little bit or Japanese or Mandarin probably. Japanese and Korean, yeah. So yeah, we're kind of on the same page there. Wait, what? Do any of your school peers know I stream? You don't have to answer this. But do any of your school peers? Are you talking like people I went to high school with? Like those peers or like peers as in like the people I work with? What, what peers are you talking about? Or like my students? You're talking about my students? This don't fit. Work, my work peers? Um, no, because... In general, I keep work and uh, anything outside of work very separate, so no. I don't think so, no. Do I care? Not really. Um, personally, I like to keep that separate, though. Because really, truly, what I do outside of work is no one's damn business. So... Why do you ask? I'm just kidding. No, I don't know. I don't really... Like, I, I'm work friends with my work peers. Um, but honestly, like... Outside of work, we don't really hang out too much. We're kind of just teachers. We go teach and then we go home. So, yeah. 
Like, I don't know a lot about them either and what they do in their free time. I really don't. I know, like, who has kids, that type of thing. But, no, I've never went and said, I stream on Twitch, want to follow me. They're teachers. I don't really think any of them play games. So I don't really think any of them would care for my streams, to be honest. So, no. Outside of my work, coworkers don't hang out, yeah. If they ever were to, like, find out I stream, like, whatever, they- I know they wouldn't watch me anyways, you know? They just wouldn't be into it. <laughs> I know that for a fact. I'm kind of like, okay, and even if you- if I had told them I stream on Twitch, they might not even know what that is. They'd be like, what? And then they wouldn't probably care because most of the teachers are a little bit older than me. So they're like, they're kind of not in this like generation of people liking games. I don't know. And a lot of them have like kids and stuff. So they are more of a, tra when a traditional route, I guess. So no. So the ultimate answer to that question is no. They do not know about my stream. And, you know, they don't really need to. And if they did, I don't think they would really care, to be honest. A lot of teachers are very unbothered people. <laughs> like, if I found out they streamed, I wouldn't fucking care. I, well, actually, I know a couple um, teachers that I've worked with make TikToks. And I personally, I've never watched one because I just don't care. <laughs> How come this won't go on? I might have to rip this part of my house off to get this on. Okay, that one was hard to get on. Oh, but how do we get this on? So. I would more so, I don't care about the teachers. I would more so care about students. I personally don't want students watching me. But I wouldn't be the first teacher to stream on Twitch, so. Oh yeah, school TikTok I've seen lately. Yeah, it's actually very popular. So I do know a couple teachers I work with make TikToks. And my school, like they're more like, you do you in your personal time, obviously unless like, one of our students reported a TikTok they found of us that's really concerning, but it's not like I'm doing anything bad, so. And they can't really fire me based off of my... Well, they have no reason to fire me. I'm just playing video games, so. I think it's what they are called, yeah. So, I hope that answered that question. It's kind of illegal, you know? For them to be upset what I'm doing in my free time off the clock. Even if you are a teacher, teachers are no different than anyone else. We shouldn't be held to a different standard. We like to... It's kind of like... um. There has been schools in the past, and I think there's more laws to protect you now and what you do in your personal time and social, social media use. But there were teachers in the past that would post pictures of them, like, out drinking, and then students would find it. But, like, why isn't the parent monitoring them, like, looking at their teacher's accounts? Because that's kind of not their business, you know? Yeah, the only people that I've told about my stream, obviously, my some of my family members know I stream. They don't watch because they don't know what Twitch is. They don't care. Um, some of my friends know, obviously. It's not that I don't want people to know. I just, I know they wouldn't watch. So it doesn't fucking matter. And if they do, I don't care. 
I just don't go around like advertising. I don't really, I don't want to be like watch my streams. It's more so I like my friends that play video games know because they are interested in video games, but they still don't watch because they're playing their own video games. I don't know. Oh, wait. How do you use the... Okay. I had to use the tool. Wait, what the fuck? How does this even go in here? Oh. Okay. Flip it over. I don't know what I'm making right now. I'm making something. Here's the house so far. But I'm building a little platform right here. Okay, we answered that. My stream is probably gonna die soon. It's called a brick separator. Jesus Christ. What is the fruit that you prefer above all the others? I love watermelon. I'm a watermelon girl. I can eat a whole watermelon in one sitting. And you think I'm joking, I'm not. My dad used to buy a watermelon and I would eat the whole thing. In one sitting. I love watermelon. But, yeah, that would be the fruit above the others. But I do enjoy, you know, a good old... Um, I do like strawberries. But watermelon's my favorite. I do like pears. What is the best breed of dog? This guy right here. Join your blankie? Um, Shih Tzu's, obviously. How in the fiddly fadoodle fuck are you supposed to... It's okay, Manny. I knew he was gonna freak out about that. Wait, what? Is this right? This don't feel right, guys. It looks right, but it, it kind of doesn't line up. But there... It has to be right. Alright, we got the roof. This is so cute. We're almost on to the last bag. My reflection. It's that girl I see. Back at me. All right, I'm building another picture. Give me a minute. This is so cute. They really did a good job making this one. Looks just like it. Oh, I gotta get off soon. Ugh. I really have a lot of work to do, guys. It's not even funny. I'm slightly panicking inside. Just thinking about it. I think I just have a front roof to make. Most of the house is done. 